Welcome back to another video guys and today we have the first sneak peek of the June uh, update update 2.11 is around the corner and uh, over the next couple uh, over the next days and weeks we're gonna be reading uh, uh, information about this upcoming update now um, the first thing to get out of the way is that there is gonna be no cancel upgrade I know people have been uh, waiting on that info but it's gonna be no cancel update uh, so you can go ahead and spend your tomatoes however you want um, now this summer is heating up with a number of new features and improvements uh, there's gonna be a new exclusive summer event called summer of explosions uh, which is going to begin on Wednesday the June 29th uh, and this event is going to reward your gameplay across all parts of uh, no man's land so yeah, what what's this event is about then? Uh, basically, there's going to be this new unique exclusive item called Summer Tokens that you're going to collect. And you can obtain these tokens through various areas in the game like the daily quests, the TG shop, the distance, the challenges and the challenge guild rewards. Um, the tokens are used to earn a series of fantastic rewards including radio phones, hero tokens, class tokens, resources and... A reward which has its own introduction so enjoy this short video the walking dead no man's land coming in update 2.11 new event collect summer tokens unlocked Darrow's RPG Coming this June. Explosive, isn't it? Uh, I'm actually pretty excited for the RPG. Uh, I think it's going to be a great addition to the weapons. Now, let me give you some more information about the RPG. I'm going to try and summarize it. Uh, but first of all, uh, Darius RPG is going to be available uh, actually as a 5 star weapon for free as long as you get the necessary summer tokens. So um, it's not gonna be available to buy with real money, it's gonna be available uh, for free to all the players in the game, um, as long as they actually play a lot this summer and uh, they collect these summer tokens. Um, now let me give you uh, some more information. Uh, I'm gonna try to summarize it in eight bullet points. Uh, so the RPG is a hunter weapon, uh, but it functions quite differently. So let's take a look at these uh, bullet points. So number one, uh, it can hit up to nine walkers at once from long range as you saw in the in the teaser uh, It is a long range weapon. It can hit and damage up to nine walkers uh, Number two the base damage is greater than that of any other hunter weapon. It's much stronger than any other hunter weapon um, number three now the central target of the attack will never experience a body shot regardless of level of the special walkers so for instance armor walkers they will never experience body shot or tank walkers or whatever walkers you're shooting at um, that's only for the central target so the target you're actually uh, targeting which is really nice um, number four after firing the RPG is going to require one turn to reload now during the next turn of the survivor using the RPG, he's not going to be able to attack, but he's going to be able to move, he's going to be able to open doors, and he's going to be able to open crates, and also bandage themselves, but won't be able to uh, shoot or attack or do anything regarding damaging walkers. Um, now, number 5, if one of your survivors is caught in the blast, they will receive damage from the attack. Now in the trailer as you saw there is going to be this red markings which is going to indicate that your survivor is going to get caught in the blast and with the green ones it means it's going to be safe. Uh, now you might be wondering what's going to happen on um, Overwatch. Well number 6 the RPG uh, is not going to be effective in Overwatch, Revenge and Retaliate so during walker turns it won't attack um, so to prevent your survivors from getting killed and from uh, uh, having to suffer severe damage um, so it's gonna it's not gonna be effective it's gonna gonna attack during overwatch so just on your turn so make sure you keep that in mind and plan uh, strategically 
Uh, number 7, the RPG as you saw on the top left doesn't collect charge points and does not have a charge ability. I believe that RPG is already a really powerful weapon, um, so having charge points, I don't see any point of that, uh, because it takes one turn to reload as well. And number 8, the explosion will not set nearby walkers on fire, so it's going to damage them, but it won't set them on fire. Um, even though you can see it has the explosive, like the fireish effect, it's not gonna set them on fire. Um, now, uh, this weapon is gonna be upgradable like any other weapon, and it's going to be unlocking different traits. Now, question towards you what traits do you think it will have, or what traits do you want to see on the RPG weapon? Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. One thing I forgot to mention is that. Um, on your uh, camp, you're gonna be able to see the summer campaign screen on the top, le on the bottom left, uh, and this is going to show you um, what rewards you can earn and how many and where you can find these summer tokens. Now, also keep in mind everything I showed you in this video is still being developed. It, this is a developer build, uh, so stuff could change. Now the RPG is coming definitely, but maybe the graphics will change. Uh, the sound effects will change because those are my own uh, sound effects creation. Um, so the visuals of the weapon might change. Stuff is still being uh, developed. So this is just an early st uh, sneak peek of what's to come. And yeah, now there is going to be more information, more interesting information. I can't wait to share with you guys coming up in the next couple of days and weeks. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Share this video, support this video. And as always, I'll see you all on my next video.